Alert 5 weather. And welcome back everyone. That snow was really heavy at times as expected across the Pikes Peak region up through Teller County. Look at some of the snow totals from the past 24 hours. The Air Force Academy also towards Black Forest seeing in excess or around 10 inches of snow. Palmer Lake, you had a report of around 9 inches. Monument to Manitou to Cascade, 8 inches collected in your area. Around 7 for Falcon and Buena Vista. About a half a foot for Woodland Park. And in Pueblo where temperatures were relatively warm with the storm, the problem was the melting, not so much the moisture, so therefore the reservoir only collecting about an inch and a half. And today temperatures are nice and warm behind that departing system, warm enough at least to allow us to melt the snow, but this is cooler than average for this time of the year. We have some 30s and 40s on the map, 41 degrees out towards the Costco Powers area, 38 currently at the airport, and 41 down south towards Fort Carson. Right now at the airport, again in the upper 30s in the springs, you can see the scene from our downtown live cam right there on Tahone. It looks like it's still mostly cloudy on this Monday evening. We have 45 outside your front door in Pueblo, also under a mostly cloudy sky with east winds at about eight miles per hour. The Canyon City cam has kind of been coming and going, but comes back up as I say that 42 degrees outside right now in Canyon City, light winds and high humidity. So still some moisture left over between systems as we have another one on the way as we head towards Tuesday night. That was a live look out in the plains and we're right now at 42 degrees in La Junta. So still on weather alert as we have another system that's going to target the southern mountains and the south I-25 corridor this time around with the heaviest snow Tuesday night through Wednesday. And for the south sand grays, this could be a big healthy snowmaker anywhere between 8 and 15 inches expected. Day planner on Tuesday back in the springs in Pueblo. Sunshine early, but we'll see increasing clouds in the afternoon. Should stay dry through mid to late afternoon, and then we'll see a better chance of maybe some scattered rain to snow showers heading into Tuesday night. So during the day, the clouds will develop over the mountain areas. You can see 3 o'clock getting some snow showers, maybe over Pikes Peak as well. By 10 p.m., a little bit of light snow out there towards Douglas County, maybe right along the Douglas uh, El Paso County line up towards Teller County as well. And then I think we We'll see some periodic snow showers in the overnight hours, but again, most of the moisture with this system is going to stay south as the low swings pretty far south of us. This go around stays pretty much as an open wave as it moves through New Mexico on Wednesday. So snow totals going to be highest for southern areas. Uh, very little impacts, I think, around the springs, maybe a trace to two inches, less than an inch for Pueblo and two to five possible in Woodland Park. Lows tonight, a mix of teens and 20s here in the News 5 viewing area and your highs tomorrow in the 30s and 40s for the coolest spots with some 50s possible across the eastern plains. And the springs were a little more mild on Tuesday, but cooling down Wednesday as that storm passes with a few spotty snow showers. Thursday climbing back to near 50. And then another quick moving system with lower impacts moves in on Friday afternoon. Beyond that, forecast looks beautiful by the weekend. Pueblo will see a mix of 40s and 50s with a few chances for rain or rain snow showers through Friday. Thursday's dry and then highs climbing through the weekend with 72 possible by next Monday. Canyon City have got 40s here Tuesday into Wednesday, then 50s return heading towards the end of the week. Woodland Park several chances for snow through the end of the week, but nice and warming. I should say nice and mild with warming temperatures by the upcoming weekend.